Oh, oh okay. Shall so I just get on with it? Hundred dollars from Kathy and Greg <coughs> Walsh in Bustleton. Another. Okay, I don't think you'll part with Well, I'm not Dame Edna. To be read out by Dame straight away. I'm doing my best, but uh, I know it's not the same. Maybe all the tough ones. Stop that now. <laughs> Whatever's going on, stop it. Hundred dollars. <laughs> We're not here to enjoy ourselves. <coughs> uh, um, only yeah, if it's read over the air. <laughs> So we we'll get you a hundred dollars. We've got it now, and that's from Mrs. Zimmerman uh, in Pano pa pa Near enough. Mm. Yeah, Panawanica. Panawanica. Okay. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you, Lewis. Right, Mrs. Drinkwater from Mount Pleasant has given us five dollars. Thank you, and ten dollars from Jean Britton of Vic Park. Fifty dollars from Craig Hill of Kensington. Thank you very much for that. And twenty dollars from Mrs. Pam and Mary Graves of Rockingham. Five dollars from Clinton Jones. The staff is doing very strange things. <laughs> from Clinton Jones of Riverton. Her profile is very strange. It's wonderful, isn't it? Um, five dollars from Joanne Smith of Wanneroo, I think that is. You're good. Don't ask me. Uh, that, that's right. uh, what else have we got? One more. Five dollars from Evelyn Hungras, I think that is, of Wembley. That's somewhere near... Yes, no, that's where I'm to hear, isn't it? Read out. I think so. Carry on. <laughs> Debra. Oh, Jamie Dean of Morley. Go yes, away. Yes, yes. Fifty... Fifty cents. cents. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Mrs. Bullock of Mount Helena. <laughs> See that? Bullock? Mrs. Bullock mm. of Mount Helena. Um, Twelve dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. His noses need some makeup. Sir and Emma Elder Dice of Bull, Bull Creek. Creek. See that? Bull Creek. <laughs> um... Josephine Mitchell isn't I here, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know who I am, actually. Two dollars, thank you very much. And Cy um, Edwards of Hammersley, one dollar. Thank you very much. It's getting fantastic. Ian. Ian. <laughs> Your turn, Ian. Oh, my turn, okay. <laughs> My dear always, woman. Mm, always stand for royalty. What a little thing you are compared with me. Yes, I'm a shrimp. <laughs> Hello, Hello to you. Lewis. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What a wonderful honour it is to meet thee and my gorgeous Jackie Hi. Love. <coughs> yes, it's Dame Edna, of course, in my <laughs> tribute to the America's Cup. Isn't, Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. We have Australia the, uh, too. This is my Australia too oh, frock. That's rather nice. Too. It's beautiful. It has a nautical theme, but you very naughty. Yes. Isn't this an exciting evening? Extraordinary. The, now the, it is, of course. Here we're very proud of our Western Australia and the wonderful <laughs> generosity and the giving that's been going on. Oh, a lot of giving's been going on. Isn't it on, exciting yeah. for you too to see this? <laughs> and uh, we're very, very <laughs> proud, and we're still giving. <laughs> we're still giving. We are indeed. And uh, I've been giving a bit at the seams for some years, as a matter of fact. But I'm bearing up Helen um, O'Hara, five dollars from Applecross. <laughs> Germaine and Tracy Taylor, two dollars <coughs> fifty. Please read out. Doubled, if read out, five dollars now. Thank you from Germaine and Tracy. Natalie and David Martino of Morley. And that's their children's pocket money. Bless their little hearts. Nice. All these gestures, these moving gestures, two dollars from Kelly Rogerson. Oh, Corrine, these spooky old West Australian names. <laughs> it's all still Did coming you, um, in. <laughs> Dame Edna, um, it's, it, it's probably a bit unfortunate that you couldn't have been here a couple of days earlier. Sitting over there, uh, we have the Premier, Brian Burke, and his wife, oh, Sue. Oh, hello, Bri Mr and Mrs and Burke. And seeing as you're such an outstanding housewife, you perhaps could have given him some advice in handing down the budget. I could have. It's not horses for courses, is what I say. You're probably getting advice from everyone. You don't need any more, darling. <laughs> I must say, Dame Edna, that you seem to me to be getting younger each time that I see you. Thank you very much indeed. I am in a wonderful state of preservation. Janet was saying that. <laughs> Only this morning, when I brought them the breakfast in bed round at uh, Bob and Jan, and uh, I said it was the Quokka Spleen Jelly that I used. <laughs> It's illegal, of course. <laughs> it's from humanely culled quokkas. And it's, it's a distal, it's from the spleen of the quokka. Oh, God. And, and I smear it into my wonderful miracle skin every day. Oh, it God. might even help your little bald patch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
And it's little Kelly Rogerson's birthday today, and she's donated two dollars. All these little mites, these widow's mites, I think they're called, not all widows, of course, are coming in, and they all add up, and we've exceeded the two million. I don't know if you know this, Brian, but I'm psychic. I'll be able to give you some information about the next election, if you're interested. No, I'd rather not know anything. But I am psychic, and I knew we were going to go over the two million, and isn't yes, it thrilling? It's true. Sarah so? Clark yes, yes, it's wonderful. To be wonderful. part of it. It certainly is. And this is coming down the straight. This is the last exciting bit. Hello, what are you going to be doing in Australia, darling? Well, tonight. Well, what are your <laughs> thoughts? Are you, are you propositioning me, don't you? <laughs> Probably. I'm in 6.10 at the orchard. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the noise is. Well, that's what... I'll be there. I use the dressing you because I'm staying with some... Privately. I'm staying privately. Oh, yes. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> viewers know, don't you, viewers, where I am, but it's a bit of a secret. <laughs> However, are you going to be Let doing one of your wonderful shows here? Yes, we're at His Majesty's. It's going great. Oh, sure. wonderful. Her Majesty's. Yeah. Another thing I'd like to mention, dear old Hal Missingham. The artist who's given so much, his studio burnt down. And uh, the Greenhill Galleries had an auction yesterday and they've raised over 52,000 for Darling Old Hell. So any contributions there? You see, I think of everyone. But it's telethon time and we're coming into the home straight and we're expecting the big donations now. What news have we, Peter? Well, I think if you speak nicely to the Premier, we might be able to pinch some more money off him. Did I interrupt you, Mr Premier? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Have you got a little thrilling surprise for us from the state of Western Australia? Well, Dame Edna, something yes. Something that's burning a hole in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> we mustn't betray him, he's got the white fair lane ticking away outside. <laughs> the white fair lane belongs to you, Dame Edna. It does indeed. I bought it a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> Dame Edna, uh, I'll present to Jeff uh, the taxpayer's... He's now redundant. <laughs> <laughs> the taxpayer's cheque, and it's the taxpayer's money. Off of uh, Telethon, we'd like you to uh, join with me in thanking the, the Premier, Mr Brian Burke, and his wife, Sue Burke, for coming Thanks on this evening. Much. Thanks very much. Things. But that's me all over, isn't it? <laughs> and haven't we had wonderful talent, not just you, my darling, at Her Majesty's, and for that's how long is this here? Another four weeks. Another four weeks yes. are booked now for this wonderful show at Her Majesty's. And we've had, of course, so many wonderful people, Jackie Trent and uh, dear little Petula and Barry Crocker, who never seems to stop singing, does he? <laughs> I arrived at the studio and I said, what's happening? I said, Barry Crocker's singing. I said, what else is new? <laughs> and that suave gentleman, Stuart Wagstaff, his presence is here and what a refining influence he's been <laughs> on proceedings. <laughs> and... Uh, Little Pat McDonald too, has been a tower of strength. Everyone has done so many things, including me. But the end isn't yet. No, don't forget that it's 32112111. And if you're in the country, it's 0081997. You can still contribute. Dame Edna, thank you. And let's get that total over uh, three million for Tula. May yeah. we have a couple of songs? Uh, a couple of songs. Do I have your maybe? permission? You have. Gorgeous and a chart buster if ever I heard one. There were a few moist eyes here. Beautiful. We've been very lucky over the years to have had... No, please sit. Your no. musical director is so talented. Yes. He is. But you see, Tony... Tony Hatch, of course, was my musical director for some time, and uh, Tony and Jackie are very, very dear friends of mine, and it's been great seeing them again. And Tony's a very, very talented musical director too, isn't he? Yes, he? indeed. And he's branched out into singing, which I yes, love. Yes, sings very well. That. I'm glad you approve. I really am. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. I'm losing me busty. You're such here. a little mice. Goodness, and we have Jackie Love. Do you know of her work? She yes. is one of our really yes. top Australian artists. I wish I could have some of her legs. <laughs> Just about three inches. <laughs> it would be fine. You can spare it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you off to next, Jackie? Um, back to Sydney. Nick. Back to Sydney. Yeah, You're going to do another one of your marvellous shows? Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm.
can we hope for a lovely album of your songs oh, soon? Eventually. <laughs> a lot of people I know have said, when is there going to be a beautiful Jackie Love album? Wouldn't that be marvellous, ladies and gentlemen, if we had a record of Jackie Love songs? I was just getting the shopping on the phone now, making sure it was all done. Lovely. Now, we've got a few more messages. Uh, Welcome back. Right. How are you? I've got a, I've got a very strange, strange one here. Not you. Uh, I've got a very strange... You're touching my leg. What an extraordinary man. <laughs> like but I, but I admire yeah. your taste, nevertheless. Yeah. Um, doesn't know you too well, does from it? The, <laughs> from the single person's wet uh. moss, or mess, perhaps. Ah, mess. The single oh, person's yeah. wet mess at Cambalda East. No doubt what that... Two, I have two, uh, no idea what that means, but thank you for the $200. Tiffany Zaffino of Victoria Park has sent 50 cents. It's her pocket money. God love you, my dear. I will now pass on to the estimable Mr. Collins. <laughs> right. I think that's good. $20 from Judy Tim Andrew Kusick from Inaloo. Somewhere. In <laughs> Where in the I have no idea. $300 from the Australia Asian Association, Perth. Mm -hmm. Please read or go on tape. Oh, very go good. To, go to prison or something. Right. <laughs> okay, firstly, uh, where am I? Grant, hello. Lee and Jackie, hi. There you go. Right, it's the Gordon Nurk restaurant. <laughs> yes. The one with the red oh, light. I was at the yacht race before. When you've been uh, in the business a bit longer, it's the one with the red light. Oh, is it yes, really? Yes, you should know about red lights. <laughs> <laughs> How's How's you know, Stuart? Like, uh, <laughs> there's a line somewhere there. I'll find it. So. The Gordon Nurk restaurant, uh, Carnarvon, $100. Thank you very much. And Peter Brook of Kingsley. Five dollars, thank you, and back to Peter. Okay, three two double one two double one is the telephone number, and uh, rather than let those conversations uh, go any further, yes. let's have some more entertainment. <laughs> and uh, here's a pretty interesting group, and I'm sure all of them you'll now recognise well and truly, as I'm sure. Here, slow to this. Go, why it's not? It's the Orchard Hotel where most of us are staying. And delightful it is too. They're uh, they're very cur courteous service. It says here, but it's also true. Uh, taking care of our telethon stars which I guess is us, during our stay in Perth, and indeed for conducting a number of fundraising activities in the hotel this weekend. Also, uh, Australian Airlines, that used to be TAA and always will be as far as I'm concerned, uh, they've graciously taken care of our visits over here and flown us to and from in absolute luxury, and indeed they're providing a holiday to Dunk Island for the telephone raffle. Certainly decent of them. Which is it? not a bad prize, and I can assure you uh, is well worth winning. Let's yes. uh, have some donations. We'll start down the other end. Tom? Oh, yes, here I am. Right there. Yeah. 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 The uh, Taylor family, family of Armadale, uh, $5. Thank you very much. Glenn Welch of uh, Ardross, $20. Thank you very much. And Jody Weller of Leeming, $20. I'll pass it over to you, sir. $20 from the Sleen family from Padbury. We'll donate 30 if read out. 50 cents from Natalie Cronin from Maida Vale. Every 50 cents counts, so keep them coming in. Two dollars from Kim Baker from Boulder, thank you. Twenty dollars from the Lloyd family of Beckenham. It's Beckenham, it's just Kent, it's a long yeah. way away. <laughs> Five dollars from the Tollis family of Hemsley. Five dollars from the Mitchell family of Albany. Ten dollars from Kathy McIntyre of Mount Lawley. <coughs> Well done. You're warming right up. You're yes, good. Practically, right in, practically in Australian already. Yes. Sally Melbourne of uh, Gooseberry Hill, where Jill Perryman lives. Uh, five cents. That's your pocket money, I guess. Please, by 12 noon. No, not. It's a little past that, but <laughs> I'm glad you stayed with us. Um, the Ker, Cameron Kerr of, or Ker, Cameron, yeah, Cameron Kerr of Cardinia, ten dollars. Mr. and Mrs. S. Thomas of East Fremantle, five dollars. And Jody Breasley or Brearley, of Spearwood, $2. Thank you. Got time for more? Yep, bet. Most certainly. Jolly good. Barry and Helen Tognolini of Kelmscott, $100. Thank you. And Mrs. Jessup of, is that Willerton? It is, yep. Willerton for Jennifer and Bradley Harris, $100. Thank you very much. And from the Miller family of uh, Kalgoorlie, thanks a lot for your $200 from Les and Prue Smith of Hyden, way down in the uh, southeast of the state, $200. And from the Wandawi uh, Club School Reunion, which was held in Wandawi, would have, uh, I would assume just about doubled the population of the town that night, $137.53. But it all goes to some very good causes, as I'm sure you're now well and truly aware. 
And a man who's uh, been over just about every year to help out those courses is Normie Rowe. Here's Normie back again. And $170. Thank you. And the OJ family of Spearwood, $100. Second. I'm doing this quickly because I want to get more money. Okay. Mrs. Sullivan Hi. and GP <laughs> Sullivan, Manning. Hi. Of Manning, $100, don't do that to me, $100. <laughs> and the Whitford Sea Sports Club, try that one, had a whip Whitford around the members. Hey, there we go, whip around. $116, <laughs> thank you very much. And Mr. and Mrs. Anu of Midvale, $100, thank you. <coughs> to have again, what have you got? Your turn, Ian. I've got uh, Mr. and Mrs. Townsend have sent $20 from Swan View. Thank go you for it, Ian. very, very much. Come on, Ian. They've never ever up, been read out. No, I don't, I don't work in a prison. <laughs> never ever been read out, so now you have been, Mr. and Mrs. Townsend. Good luck to you. Um, and thank you very much. Chris Linnett of uh, Yokeen has, has yes. uh, Come on, sent Ian. a dollar. Get your act together. Thank Come you on. very much. Uh, uh, the Peddington family of uh, Norseman has sent $30. Oh, I like it. Uh, Jennifer and Bradley Walton of Maddington have sent $2. And where's my, this is my list, hang on, just my list. Can I just? Hang about, folks. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just want to say hello He's to like Trudy, on set too. Franca, Michael, this is, oh, looking for words. T Trudy, Franca, Michael, Tony Fiorucci uh, from Tina. Um, I'd very much like to say hello to Mrs. Anderson, who um, and your mother was, and your was a grandma, and someone rang up and said, hi, say hello, yeah. please say hello to my grandma. And Mrs. Anderson, hi, grandma. And uh, to um, Hayley and Emily, happy birthday, Emily. And also to Jason. Hi, Mum well and Dad. Done. Thank you very much, well Ian. Lewis, what have you got for us? We want to say hello to your friends and relatives and everything. Oh, oh, I haven't got any friends or relatives. $5 from Graham Spry of Collie. $5 from Natasha Bond of Wagon or Wagon. Wagen. Wagen. $5 from Joe Clement of Trackwood. Thank you for that. $3 from the Osterberg family of Wilson. $1 from Elise Butterworth of Cloverdale. And $5 from Claire Winston of Wongo, is that right? Yes. $10 from Shay Lawrence of Melville. And finally, $20 of M.D. Moore from Maylands. Okay, Strop, off you go. Right, Strop. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you had the man's talent, I'd make money. My James. <laughs> Emma Hill, thank you very much. It's your pocket money. $1, thank you. There's that red light over there. Tony Patke of Embleton, $2. And people, I'm sorry, the ones that I said I'd say a special hello to, I went to the toot, I had it on my hands, washed my hands, and yeah. lost all the names. I'm so oh, sorry. Tom. Yes, there I go. <laughs> can't take yeah. him anywhere. No, you can't. Can you? All wash, the staff hand, from, um, from Chicken Treat at Carolwara, $30. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Lewis was supposed to read that out. I'm terribly sorry I didn't see that. So I hope I, I'm not the substitute, but there you go. I'm sorry. Natasha Masters of Bull Creek, $5. Thank you very much. John Harmon of Belmont, $5. And David Gates of Padbury, $5. Thank you all very much. <coughs> Jeffrey. Okay, Tom, thanks very much indeed. That's the phone number we'd like you to phone. Like we said, we're heading for that $2.6 million right now because that takes a total for all the years we've been running telephone up to $20 million. Come on, let's hear okay. from you. Come on, guys. Two, three, double one. Three, two, double one, two, double one. <laughs> we're getting it ourselves. Susanna Carr joins us with a very special guest. Susanna? Thanks very much. Wonderful contributions there from everybody, and as Susanna said, a lot of the children going out and collecting money, and that's what it's all about. Okay, we're going to make you work now. Oh, what have I got to do? How would you like to read out some donations? Oh, fantastic. All right. Now, I can't work this out. Is that Snow Deli or a Deli Snow? It's, either way, it's pretty good. Yeah, and this is from Wangara. Wangara. A thousand dollars. Oh! Fantastic. <laughs> And this is uh, Mr. and Mrs. B. Moss uh, from Shakespeare Avenue. You're kind. You're kind. Five hundred dollars. Oh. Can't believe it. I think I'm getting it right. Oh. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Any more? Mm. Yeah, go for your life. Yes. Uh, Ten dollars from Jody and Rebecca Holston. I think that is from Cow. I can't pronounce mm. these words. Carrera up. Carrera up. Hmm. What he said. <laughs> Carrera up. More? Yeah. The whole family from Malibu. Nevis Street, $100. $100 from Jenny and Martin Butler from Ferndale. $100 from the <coughs> Bryan family of Cambolda. Cambolda. Yeah, Cambolda. Another $100 from uh, Simon, CM and family. And that's from Nola Ra 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 Ra. Nola Ma. The, the pretty's not Sorry. so good either. No, I'm not a drink. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, the Ellis Monsonic Village Social Club. From Cool Bellop. Cool Bellop. Yeah, that's $100. You got yeah, the well, biggest there. Yeah, yeah, it's going well, isn't it? Another $10 from Anne Plunkett from Busselton. That's it. 
and $200 from the Gascoigne <coughs> Junction Race Club from Gascoigne. Okay. How's all right. that? All right. That good. good. Well done. Start, yes. It? You've got the part. <laughs> Stuart, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Kerry and Darren, where are we? Kerry and Darren, you're changing cameras on me. There we are. Yeah. Kerry and Darren Lenton of uh, Gosnells have given us $6. Thank you. The Barden fa no, Baron family of Mundijong, uh, 15 yeah, $15. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Uh, just, just looking at your students. It's late and I'm tired yes. and old and I'm struggling <laughs> through, right? The Roggio family of Cloverdale, $5. Keep changing camera on me. Um, and the Burroughs family of Leeming have given $20. Do I pass to this gentleman on my left who's mocking me? No, I'm not mocking you. He wouldn't mock you, would he? On your I sit there and watch you on Sunday nights and all that with your theatre review. How very, how very clever of you. <laughs> all right, Master Timson of Teeming, $1. Thank you very much, Master. Edith and Frank Ward of Florida via Mandura, $10. Thank you very much. Where are we? I'll get you in trouble now. Catherine and Bronwyn Taylor of Moira. <laughs> thank you. $5 and thank you. Brian Grundy, no relation to Reg, I don't think, of Balladura, $250. Thank you well, very maybe much. Maybe related to Reg. <laughs> yes, yeah. maybe. Matthew and Nick Barnett of uh, Les Mudy. Les Mudy? Les Murdy. Les Mudy. $10, thank you very much. Mrs. Anyway. J. Much of uh, <laughs> North Perth, $30. And Ty Rankin of... I'll let this one go. Uh, $5, thank Kananara. you. Kananara, no. Is it Kananara? Kananara. Kananara, thank you very much. I'm sorry about the town, but thank you. Hey, Tom, the main thing is they're ringing up right now and donating the money, and we'd like to hear from you. We've got some great entertainment coming up for you right now. <laughs> Welcome, please, Ray yes. Burgess. <laughs> And Dame Edna, with her psychic powers, uh, predicted that uh, we will get over $2 million by the close of the program. So we certainly hope she's right. You can help her be right if you'd like to pick up the phone right now. And we have some people who have donated money. Lewis? Would you yeah, like to well, this is a very us? special one. It's from Andrew Rowe. His address is the police station. Uh, we'll catch him. And uh, it's a donation of 50 cents. Uh, thank you very much for that, Andrew. Donation from my piggy bank. Please thank the doctors at the PMH for fixing my sister's broken arm. Oh, isn't that sweet? Can, can, can I say something? There? Isn't it? Is, is that a real place? We'll catch him. Well, I'll catch him. Is yep. it in the police station and we'll catch him? I mean, it, it's <laughs> <laughs> and three hundred dollars from Mrs. Milne. I think that is from Bentley. Twenty dollars from the McCracken family from Goldsworthy. A hundred dollars from the Church of Christ Youth Group from Boulder. And ten dollars from Kerry Heron from South Headland. A hundred dollars from the Kemp family uh, for Amy and friends. I think from more, is that mum ball up? I, I don't know. <coughs> Sounds very strange. Eleven dollars from the Gosh family from Collie. Ten dollars from uh, Melanie Sharon Wilson uh, from Narrogin. Narrogin. Uh, one dollar from Mr. Williams, thank you for that. On um, Mullaloo? Mullaloo. 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 On um, one of those... <laughs> You're getting there. You're getting closer yeah, and closer. Yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah. Ten dollars from the old poor family from Morley. And forty dollars from Lorna Woods of Beverly. Righto, Stuart. I'm trying to do a mum ball up too. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. Let's have a look at the see if that is. Jody and Ryan... Where are we? Ah. Good evening. Jody and... Good morning, in fact. Jody and Ryan Smith of Langford, $10, thank you. The Hamilton family of Banjup. Banjup? Banjup, uh, $20. Fred Clark of Balcada, $10. H. Chadwick of Claremont, $50. Uh, Shirley and Doug Moyle of Corrine, $20. And John, Jamie and Crystal Debari of Safety Bay, $30 for which many thanks to you all. Thomas. Thank you very much, Stuart. Sergio Cali, uh, Calcaro of South Headland, $5. Thank you. Santa Monica College, $80. I'm just 87 cents. That's the results of a one-act play called Ernie's Incredible uh, Illusions. It's a very funny little play. And the Beanie family of Narogen, $5. Thank you very much. If Barry Crocker does five push-ups. I think he's only pushing up a bit of Zeds right now. So Jody, Alexander, Mitchell and Thompson of Wilg G., Willoughby, fifty dollars. Thank you. Reader and Kevin and Davis, Davis family, Spearwood, fifty dollars. Thank you. The Leonard family of Derby, fifty dollars. Thank you. The Bulalik family of <laughs> Nolamura, fifty dollars. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Gurney of Kuma, fifty dollars. Thank you. And the Matheson family of Port Hedland, 
Ten dollars. Thank you very much. I just thought we might make, to make a gesture on behalf of Barry. They wanted five push-ups from Barry. You can do two and we'll do one each. I'll do one and you do two. <laughs> you want to do that? All right. All right. Right. On the floor. All right. What have we got today? It's not a bit strong. He's, he's not what he used to be, is he? Take, 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 take me to read more of these, <laughs> Okay. Amanda, Michael and Kelly, six dollars, and they're from Maddington, I think that is. Yes. Uh, Two dollars from Justine Crosby from North Perth. Twenty dollars from Pat Rankin. I can't read that. Kananara. Kananara. Five dollars from Kim Rankin from the same place. And one dollar from... Can you read that name? Oh, Boko or Buke? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> anyway, you know who that is. Don't you? <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> there we are. Carry on. Have you done? Yeah. Right. Uh, done then, lads. Yeah. Pi, I think it's Pi and Trisha Fraser of uh, Girouin. Special thanks to Colin Passman for donating a telethon car. Five dollars. Thank you. Uh, Kirsty and Jason Davis of um, Nangaran. Five dollars. Dorothy Tui of Burgoon. Ten dollars. Chicken a la carte of Inaloo, ten dollars, and is Mr. A meal Thomas, or a name or what? <laughs> What's that? chicken a la carte is uh, shop 23, it's a, it's, oh, a, it's a takeaway <laughs> chook place I imagine, good job Belinda's gone in a <laughs> gear, uh, and Mrs. Oh, uh, Mr. Thomas of Kingsley, I'm still puffed from doing one push, up. <laughs> got him out of trim, uh, Kingsley, ten dollars, thank you. Right, Go. Wayne, Cathy, Adam Simpson of uh, Warunga, five dollars, thank you very much, Kath and Tom Watson of Safety Beach, $35, thank you. Jeff Jack Shepherd of Safety Beach, $20, thank you. The Manfredini family, $50 from Morley, thank you. Jeffrey and Lawrence of Claremont, $50, thank you very much. And the Linky family of uh, Willington, $10, thank you, Jeffrey. Gosh, you did that well. Come on, you know, Tom, thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah. Right, uh, we've, it's not a so mega stars <laughs> because we've had Dame Edna Everidge on the program and we'd like to welcome back uh, somebody who... Well, we're pretty happy to have. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. Welcome to Telethon, singing a song called Billy Jean. Here he is. Ho! It's great. They're from our Channel 7 newsroom. Couldn't understand a word they said. Intrepid report. Triple nine. Triple nine. Now, now, Stuart, don't <laughs> That's Western Australian for nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good old what WA. What's wrong with WA? Hey? Eh? Who's the guy at the end? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm here representing the northern suburbs. A very good evening. Northern suburbs what? Huh? The northern suburbs. The northern what? suburbs what? Right. In Sydney, northern suburbs crematorium, well, from where I'm standing. Okay, Stu, right. Yes. So the All gloves right. are off then. Is that it? Is that it? It's right. Close. Yes. Okay. Right, Lewis. Would you like to Oh, more, uh, more money. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Five dollars from the church family of Langford. Thank you for that. Uh, One dollar from Peter Clark of Bull Creek. Uh, Five dollars from Mrs. Burnett of Swan View. Uh, Five dollars from the mm -hmm. Stephen and Bradley mm -hmm. Monday, uh, Spearwood. Twenty dollars from Stephen and uh, Madeline Scuff, <laughs> I think that is. Brentwood. Oh, yes, that? Cuff. Is it yes. Five dollars from mm -hmm. Tina, Jeff and Christopher Weber of Edgewater. Five dollars from uh, Colleen Campbell of Aurelia. 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 Twenty dollars from the Schmidt family of Riverdale. Five dollars from Julie and Victoria. I can't read that. Zaji. 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 And Lee Brook. Fifty dollars from Catherine Michael and Nicholas from City Beach. Five dollars from Les White, Scarborough. Thirty dollars from Webb. Now how would how would how would Bodie read this? How would Bodie do all that? I can't. I'm supposed to be getting away from all that. And I won't do the other character because that'll give too much away. <laughs> Fifty dollars from S and E Hiddlestone Huntingdale, and fifty dollars from Hetta Mears of Park Wood. 
All right, Harry Stuart. Old Stuart. Thank you. Do one of your impersonations. Me? Yes. I don't do yes. impersonations. <laughs> I thought no. you were doing a pretty, I did. As a pretty good fact, job tonight. The very first money I ever earned in this industry was doing impersonations to the elite theatre, Kingston upon Thames. I impersonated Charles Boyer, Charles Lawton, Go on, then, Ron Kerman. And I got <laughs> 17 shillings, which we'll, was I'll thoroughly overpaid. I'll, I'll kick in. 17 bob if no, you no, do I it tonight. Couldn't yes, I can't make a dollar. Come right. On. Mel Beckett. No, Neil, 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 Neil Becklett of Gosnells, five dollars. Uh, Natalie Hass of Double View, seven dollars. Would like it read out, so would I. Um, but it's blue. John and Barbara Guy of Carlisle, five dollars. Uh, HR. I'll read it out for you later. It's amazing, those new contact lenses of Stu, is really, they're really working. They are. They're really, they but are. But the hearing aid's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. H.R. Smith, Howard and Mary Smith, that is, of um, Dianella, $150. Travis Rogers of Highgate, $2. And Ronald Eckersley of Balia. Five dollars. Thank you, Thomas. Right, thank you, Stuart. Mrs. Rothkopf of uh, Gosnell, twenty dollars. Thank you. The Mercy family of Southway, ten dollars. Saunders family of Bulga. Is it Bulga? Bulga. Bulga, ten dollars. Thank you. R.C. Henderson of South Perth, ten dollars. Kathy Mansbell, Mansbeld of uh, Bulga. Bulga. <laughs> thank you. Cross family of Riverton, ten dollars. And over to Peter. Yeah, a little giddy. Uh, as you know, we're going uh, statewide, Stu. Yes, I do know that. And yes. you know that, don't you, Tom? I certainly yes. do. We haven't heard, uh, as yet, from people in uh, Nunyeri. No, this is the great northwest. <laughs> Pay attention, Stu, because I'll be asking questions. This man's playing knees with me. I'm worried about you. He's playing knees with me on the table. Yes, he's like she's not changed yet. Onslow, we haven't heard from <laughs> Onslow. Or, uh, let's see, I've got another one here, Marble Bar. Oh, you yeah. remember Marble Bar? That's yes, hot. In Mar Isn't that the hottest place in Australia? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. It can be uh, is anything up to 48 degrees under the water bag. Life. Under the water bag from the front veranda. Now, that's hot. I'm glad He's you hot. said that. Yes. Yes. I want you to think about that, Stu. I try uh, not to. Also, <laughs> we've, uh, we've had no calls yet from uh, Kunan Gauragana, which it's is in the northwest. Very good. Oh, that's a that's, big uh, name. That's Aboriginal for Kunan Gauragana. <laughs> uh, Karatha. Oh, no, we've had them from Karatha. Karatha yes, we've had Another them. one is Exmouth. That's where we go fishing uh, every we year. We had you some were... from Exmouth. Pardon? We had some from Exmouth. Did you? Yes. You must have read it softly then, Jeffrey. Yes. Would well, you didn't... please speak up? Because uh, our transmitter has only got a certain amount of wattage. Thank can you. Can, can very I, can much, I digress? digress I wish you would. Exmouth was the very first place I ever saw in this country. Exmouth was it Gulf, really? Yes, from the sea. We I never came... Never, never came ashore for about right. I remember reading about it in the paper. The old last Fired by a during, torpedo. During the war, yes. <laughs> and we lay off Exmouth Gulf. And I thought, so that's Australia. And I yes. went away and didn't come back for and about then, 30 years. somebody on Exmouth Gulf says, so, who's that laying off Exmouth? <laughs> <laughs> that's me. no ship. No, it was a tired old me. Well. We're winning the war, to trust you're very grateful for Yes, it. yes. Well, we have been, Stu. Yeah, yes, been, That's Stuart. why we, we, we let you stay yes. here. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> anyway. That's excellent. Anyway, Jeff, Peter, you've obviously done a lot of research, and we thank you very much indeed. Thank for you. That wonderful uh, knowledge that you've imparted. That's quite all right. I'm sure you're We'd like to have impressed. some entertainment now. But yeah, just for change, Peter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to welcome along a young lady by the name of Susie Cotton.